Hey Capricorn, what's up? Vanessa Moon here. Alright, it's been a while since we've done a reading. So these are just going to be messages for you guys uh, for this time, for this September. Now that we've got over this hump of the Virgo New Moon, I think you guys should be feeling a little bit better about the energy. I know it might be a little bit rough still for you guys, but still should be getting better. Okay, so let's see what comes out for you guys at this time. What comes out? What is the overall energy of Capricorns? Capricorns, it says this time you'll be breaking addictions. Alright. So, there comes a lot with that energy, number five. There are going to be a lot of changes. So these are kind of forced changes to like break some habits that you might have that may be holding you back, okay? But with that, you should be getting some good things coming through, okay? Some, 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 good, some good outcomes, okay? Some of you may have already done this, and it could be bringing some things in for you rapidly at this time. So let's see what that may be. Let's see what that may be. Oh, okay, the Hierophant. So some of y'all could be uh, really discussing the idea of tradition so there's could be an addiction to some type of tradition you have or some type of ritual you have um some of y'all it could be in a really it could be a high level relationship it could be a committed a long-term committed relationship it could be waiting on somebody to commit to you okay it could be taking their sweet time maybe in the past you did this but you're not doing that anymore you're not waiting okay you're not waiting or you're not waiting for something to be long term before you jump in okay yeah, look, this Knight of Pentacles keeps wanting to come out. Um, it feels like the minute you stop waiting, someone comes and it comes, comes, someone comes in. Oh, so you have a storyline staying up for you. Okay, so it seems like the minute you stop doing something one way, somebody wants to make something serious with you at this time. Yeah, look, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles turns into the Knight of Cups. So they come at you, somebody comes at you with a serious offer. Yep, Queen of Cups. Yeah, as soon as you keep you keep your emotions to yourself, you remain open, but you say, no, 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 I'm not offering anything. I'm not offering anything, anything, because I don't trust, I don't trust what I'm seeing here. Too much mystery, too many secrets, too much, too much mum or quiet energy or too much, um, not know, too many unknowns, okay? So it's like you may, maybe you start looking for something new or you start investing more in yourself or you're just feeling more excited about you know, renewing renewing some creative opportunities you have for going on for yourself, Capricorn. You're moving away from this energy of the past where you kind of you kind of just romanticize something for too long. Um, maybe somebody gave you something small or did something nice for you or did something sweet or made you feel something sweet like you did when you were a kid or 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 you know romanticize a feeling that they gave you long in the past that they haven't really reciprocated in that way for in a long time. And it's like you may have given this person a cold shoulder and now they want to reconcile with you. They want to fix things after they feel like, well, wow, I haven't heard from Capricorn. Where have they been? Or, you know, like, what's going on? It could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. Um, yeah, because you kept, the, it's like you turn your back on them. You're looking outward now, growing, expanding in new directions. And now they feel they were expecting you to come in like the Knight of Cups and try to, you know, hey, what's going on? Maybe like you always do. And allow them to take their time. And you didn't do that. You didn't do that. You 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 just moved, moseyed right along. You're not there to be someone's little placemat. And they don't like the silence. They don't like the silence of the high priestess. So now they want to invest. And now, also, maybe they see you sitting pretty Capricorn. Doesn't even, male or female, you, you're you reflecting the King of Pentacles. Somebody's ready to invest in you because you've invested in yourself, okay? Queen of Cups to King of Pentacles is a very nice, loving relationship. But it's like, it's still, not, to me, not a vibrational match. It's saying, you feel like this person could have been your soulmate, but now you have this, this King of Swords here. Oh, who's that? Who that? Who that is? My baby day? No, I'm kidding. So it's saying like, you're, there's something you're seeing very clearly about someone in the silence. All right? All right? Okay? Something you're seeing very clearly. After you've been keeping to yourself, it's like you became more attractive as well. You attracted in some type of soulmate situation. Yeah, look, you attracted in a king of cups. what I tell you? More of a vibrational match. You're attracted in somebody more nurturing, more loving, more caring, more responsive, um, more emotionally available. That's what I'm hearing, emotionally available. 
and or at least that's what you will be doing more ready to build with you and work with you more cooperative and it's because and there's someone more mature with the world card more mature after you ended a cycle with someone else that's what I'm getting if this hasn't happened to you this is what will be happening to you in the coming time and it's it's boiling it is burning someone up with the ten of swords it's burning up they want to know who you where you are where you've been who you're doing it with what you're doing why you're not contacting them the old cycle is dead it's, this is no communication. Things are radio silent. And now someone has to deal with all their emotions that they never dealt with because they're feeling it. Okay? They're feeling it. See, anybody with Capricorn in their chart, they're feeling it. They're like, where where did they go? What, what's going on? And they're confused. Okay? But I'm seeing, no, you're doing great. You're You're getting the attention that you've always deserved. You're getting put on the pedestal you've always deserved. And it's since, Capricorn, you've held back and you've gotten out of this outdated thinking. Again, break, you broke that addiction. And you almost you also broke this person's addiction to holding back from their feelings. But now it might be too late. They're also wondering, you know, like I said, who you're getting attention from. What, 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 you must be getting attention from someone else if it's not me. But it's like also, who would, be, who would want that? Who would want someone who feels that they need to be chased all the time? Or attention this person likes when you give them attention and then they hold back it makes them feel it makes them feel on top of the world when they can deny you some type of attention <clears throat> you know what I'm saying but where does that leave you bored lonely hopeless it makes them feel good because you're the one that holds all the power you see so that was definitely an addiction that needed breaking. So that's some type of message you have here and leads to you a whole new life here with the Fool card. You're not going to be the Fool anymore. You're taking a leap of faith. You're feeling good and you're free. You're free. There's something that's freedom. Okay? That's that Uranus retrograde energy coming through. So something is all new for you. So these are just messages I'm getting here. These are just messages for you, Capricorn. Let's see what other messages come through. Let's see what other messages come through. Okay, death card, total life change, complete transformation. Okay, so yeah, definitely somebody is ending something here. You could have somebody could have had an addiction, suffered from addiction, and it could be life threatening. Okay, and that's over now. Um, the Empress energy. Okay, that's a like, significant healing to the body as well. So, so if somebody was sick, definitely significant healing here. Definitely could have somebody could have been suffering from um, drug and alcohol addiction here. Or sex addiction as well here with the seven of cups. But somebody's illusions and fantasies about you are now being relifted. Okay? Somebody could have also been wishing bad on you, Capricorn. And that's over now, too. They they can't believe what they're seeing about you. This could be a completely separate message. It has, does not have to be related to the first message. Okay? Um, but I'm getting a bunch of people here. A bunch of people. Illusions are being shattered about you. Because they cannot believe how much you glow. How much you... you I'm here. The glow up is real. The glow up is real. Yeah, and the door is shut. I mean, the door is shut now. All those people, those naysayers, the door is shut. They can't come in for a second chance. So I'm getting that some people want to come towards you. They have been planning this all along. They were going to come towards you as soon as they saw you doing better. I'm getting people didn't want to come around you when they saw you were doing bad. Um, or when you kept to yourself. This is the energy of some very fast movement coming towards you. The truth. Yeah, you have you have a very strong energy coming towards you with the truth. Somebody really wants to talk to you about something here. Okay, they're being guided. They're being guided at this time. Oh, somebody's very obsessed with you. Look, like I said, there's somebody that wanted to stop you, and then there's somebody who wanted to tell you about it, and then there's somebody that wants to talk to you about the truth about something a way they a something they have to tell you almost like before you go I have to tell you something Capricorn I have to tell you before you go that's what I'm hearing they don't they don't want you yeah look at all this masculine energy they don't want you to go without knowing exactly how they feel or what was said or what was done okay I know the cards are all jumbled here I know some of you like to follow along my apologies for the mess. 
<laughs> but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that like the strong energy of the past. Someone from the past, Six of Cups, obsessing over something that was done negatively in the past. They want to make right. Okay. And I don't think they are going to, I don't know if they're going to be able to because I'm hearing the door is shut. The door is shut. Okay. But I'm hearing that it's part of their karma to come to speak to you. They're going to try. But it's like before you fly away. Before you fly away. Or there's going to be a message that comes flying in when you least expect it. They're obsessing over this now. It's like they have to make it right. Okay? They have to make it right. That's something. something that's a message that's coming towards you. It could involve money or family. Okay? Or a home or a house. or. But meanwhile, you're going off to a new beginning, okay? Yeah, look, nightmares. They're having nine of swords. They, this is this is this is somebody feeling like they have to get something off their chest or out of their head or get out of this anxiety they have over you. So I'm getting whatever was done. Somebody has to equal give and take. They have to give you the see family money here or money or. Or, or somebody took something or didn't give you what you deserved. Or they weren't giving you your proper credit. Okay? It could be a friendship circle or group. A group of large group of people who didn't give you your credit where credit was due. You're getting the credit now. And I'm getting there. This is money coming to you, Capricorn. Okay? For um, this is music. Uh, this is a feast. And this is your legacy, okay? Legacy. Take the how it resonates. Could be an older woman involved, okay? Could be a mother figure. But this is a big fortune coming to you. Look, see the snake here? It could be something involving a mother figure, a huge fortune. And this could be somebody who desired it or jealous, was jealous or wanted to hoard something all to themselves. Like a thief in the night, they caught it. They caught what was yours. They made a bad decision. I don't know, I'm just getting that here, but it's coming to you now. Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who, this is somebody who wanted to cut you down and take from you and didn't want you to have what was yours. Okay, but it's still being given to you. It's still a gift. It's still being gifted to you anyway. They have to give it back. So I'm hearing or give it back or make it right um, or they're being exposed, okay? They're being dumped on and exposed or they tried to cut you out of something or withhold some information from you, but it's being given to you. I'm hearing being gifted and given to you, okay? Yes, Wheel of Fortune, again. So huge fortune, huge change complete and total turnaround all right and those who went against you will now be one to work with you Oof. somebody tried to string you up catch you up it's like the tables turn on them and now all those same people that were helping them or to believe them they're not going to believe them anymore that's 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 a strange message coming up but that's the message all right so let's get another message for y'all okay so somebody had to break their addiction to hurting you. Yeah, now you're financially stable. You string you up, hangman. <laughs> hangman you string you up. I'm telling you. You want to sacrifice you? Dang, over money. Over money or over a home or over inheritance. Four cups. Okay, so this is about someone you rejected. Okay. Or something you rejected or something that rejected you in the past. Okay, now they want to make it right with you. They want to balance the scales. Six of, six of Earth. I feel like they've been working hard at something here. I feel like they see, they see the foundation you've laid for yourself. And I feel like somebody rejected you because they felt like they couldn't give you the proper... They couldn't give you what you deserved at the time. I feel like somebody didn't feel like they were good enough for you. Okay, Capricorn? I don't think they rejected you because they wanted to reject you. I think they actually rejected themselves from you. And you're going to see that now. Because I think when you get to know this person, I think you're going to take a chance and get to know someone. And you're going to see that they actually didn't... You, you never got rejected. They actually rejected themselves. 
because they were scared of you. Because the hangman underneath the deck shows me that they had self-limiting beliefs. They didn't think like they had to see. They had to get a new. Pers they had to get a new perspective about life before they could talk to someone like you. Yeah, look at that. Three of Cups wanting to get with you. Three three. Um, I'm seeing here with the four four and a three three. I'm seeing that they listen to outside influences, um, outside energies. Um, just tell them they weren't, like I said, weren't good enough or that you didn't align in some way. They couldn't see that the universe had actually brought them exactly what they wanted when they brought them you. This could be a job, some of you. Six of Wands reverse. Um, yeah, they, they felt like a loser. They felt like a loser. They just didn't feel like they measured up to you. But now they want to give you your, they want to give you what's owed to you. Okay, they want to give you, there's a message coming up. It's an apology and stability and, and abundance. Some of you, it's a lot of you, this is a job offer. Okay, they, somebody felt like they were, you were too smart or too good or you were too, like you wouldn't want to work with them or you wouldn't want to be around them. Something like that. Some of you, it is romantic, okay? Um, or a group that didn't necessarily, they probably thought like, man, I would work with Capricorn, but Capricorn probably thinks they're better than us. Like they thought you were stuck up. I'm going to just keep it real. They thought you were stuck up. But then once they got to know you and see you work or watch you, they're like, wow, dang, Capricorn's not stuck up at all. <laughs> We had Capricorn pegged all wrong. So it's like, yeah, somebody thought, they realized they thought, they had to realize they were thinking the worst, Eight of Swords. It wasn't you. They, like, they're getting clarity. So now you're going to get some type of apology, apology or the truth from someone. And it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to work out much better if you give them a second chance. Okay. Yeah, because whatever happened to them out in the real world, it, they got their ASS handed to them. Like really they did. They did. And they realized they should have worked with you to begin with. They really should have. I'm getting a strong work vibe. Because no one has your creativity. No one no one is as agreeable as you. It would have been a blessed partnership. You know what I'm saying? I guess some of you are romantic. But instead they let their ego and their pride get in the way. And they cut you out before you could. They rejected you before you could reject them. They just thought the worst. For no reason. Okay? And they have a nice little nest egg to offer you. They, whatever they're going to offer you, it's really nice. Water element. They're going to come with you and cleanse the situation with emotion. This is a portal energy. It's going to be a new beginning, but it's going to wash through with emotion first. So meaning they're going to, they're really going to pour their heart out to you and tell you why they're, they're sorry about the situation. And it's going to lead to Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting like a strong work vibe here, a strong like group project or, um, a mentorship effort or something where somebody wants to work with you and help you with something but they just really rejected you before you could reject them they really thought you were stuck up and you're not you're just discipline you're just good at what you do yeah shango energy like you just you just a master baby you just the best and they're like well why would capricorn want me but you saw something in them that they didn't see them in themselves so I'm getting a strong energy here, but now they're going to protect you. Now they're going to go hard for you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because they want to protect you like a mermaid. This is great fortune. It's like you're rare. You're rare. Okay? You're rare. And now you have a team. Now you have a team that wants to build with you in the real way. In the real way. Okay? So you felt stuck. Well, you felt stuck. You're gonna Doors are going to open now. See, that's like a different energy because they have the Wheel of Fortune first. Now doors are going to open. All right, so those are the messages I have for Capricorn, okay? So these are the things that people are going to break their addictions to, like, to, like, I'm getting, like, staying away from your energy because they're scared. They're not scared of you anymore, Capricorn, okay? It's almost like you're going to stop keeping small for people. You're going to keep growing. You're not going to be afraid to be yourself anymore. You're like, you know what? I don't care what it looks like. I'm just, not that you were doing that before, but to a degree, perhaps you were. That's what I'm feeling. To a degree. So your advice moving forward. Reverse dissociate. So you don't have to dissociate with people anymore. You can go back. You can talk to them again. Okay? You got the keys now. You got the power. Alright? I love it. Number 28. The cycle's ended. So choose to change. Choose to transform. Keep keep go with the transformation, okay? We'll talk, we shall talk soon. I hope these messages helped you. This has been a smooth tarot. Visit my website for a personal reading, and I shall talk to you soon. Bye.